All right, so this is quick down and dirty on how to make a spec map under or for an iRacing livery on GIMP. So first step, uh, need to open up your um, open up the actual file. So. My stuff's pretty disorganized, so bear with me. All right, so this is basically this is a basic TGA uh, block color is very easy. If you want to do anything with gradients or anything like that, then you need an actual the PSD file or an XCF. So this is a really basic down and dirty tutorial. Within GIMP, we have uh, a couple of things that you'll need. You'll need your color selections and the actual file here. Um, one technique that I like to use is to break each one of the colors down. Um, in this case, the uh, we want to make the blue uh, normal eye racing, uh, the, the basic normal paint. All of the white needs to be chrome and the black needs to be matte. Uh, it's not that difficult with these three colors. Alright, so within GIMP you have the actual TGA and then you have the or the layer uh, channels here or when you go into the color channels the ones that uh, iRacing uses within their spec maps are red and green. Red is the um, material uh, file which is metal or not metal and it's on a scale. Uh, and this is the scale here within this graphic uh, I'll post the link to this graphic in the description but essentially black on a gray scale black is not metal white is fully metallic and it's on a sliding scale okay and then in the green channel is the roughness uh, the roughness scale so black is fully smooth and white is fully rough so if you want matte painted metal you need the red channel needs to be fully white or 255 255 255 on a red green blue scale and then if you're looking for matte, uh, fully matte would be the same, 255, 255, 255, or fully white on the gray scale. However, I think it looks a little bit better, uh, the matte does, when you're in the 60 to 70% range. And I'll show you how to do that. And then, on the uh, conversely, on the the metallic side if you want a fully chromed out appearance you want full black zero 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 uh, personally I think 30 percent 30 or 40 percent uh, I'll remember here in a minute or two is the is the makes a really nice satin finish All right. and if you ever need a reminder of what those colors are as far as you know what's metallic what's not metallic and then what's rough and what's smooth I race it I'll drop the link to this explanation page here and it outlines it right here in this paragraph underneath the chrome NASCAR alright so for this one we want to select uh, I want to select everything that is going to be matte so the black And then in this case, I will make a new layer with it. You don't necessarily have to. You could just paint straight off of this, but it's a little bit better if you make a new layer. Uh, sorry. 
brain farting here. Float, new layer. And there's your black. All right, and then, and I'll probably clean that up a little bit. Um, We'll see how that turns out. All right, we'll turn this back on and we'll do the same thing again for, actually I want the white. And then you want all these layers to be the same size as the image. I'm not going to mess with that at all, actually. Uh, so basically everything that's... All of this will just paint normally. All the black will make uh, matte. And all the white will be uh, chrome. Alright, so we start you need to make sure that only the red channel is selected to set your materials. Uh, in this case, it really doesn't matter if you make the um, it really doesn't matter that much whether the surface is me metallic or matte or uh, I'm sorry, metallic or non-metallic when you're making the matte. Um, but for this case we'll, we'll make it all metallic uh, so all the white and uh, black will be metallic and we'll make everything else non-metallic super easy it's just choosing white or black And you just paint, make sure that you have the area selected, paint it white with the fill, boom. All right, back to black, um, back to the black layer here. So select the layer, then select by color. Make sure you're on red channel, which we are. Fill again, fill the black areas. And see it changes the colors. It doesn't have a major effect though, so don't freak out. And then everything else, select by color. And the best way to do this is to select by a color outside of the, sorry, outside of the actual objects within, and then select invert. And what that should do is give you everything that is not in this image so let's start over here so we have the, the image up select by color so everything colored now should have um, you know should have a uh, should be selected to, to fill as not metallic so we filled it it's black didn't really change any of the color though so all right now we want to set the uh, set the reflectivity of the surfaces all right so we know that the Normal colors we want to set for normal um, for the classic, uh, which is a 15% black, basically, um, an almost black comes out to basic the old school um, like service conditions for eye racing. So that's what we'll select here, and we will fill that. Make sure it's in the green channel. And we have these services, so we're going to fill 
full selection. All right, and everything gets filled. All right, so we'll select all the areas that are black and we'll go in here, make sure we're in the green channel. And then if we remember, black on the rough or matte on the roughness scale is somewhere around six to six or more. So what I've found works the best is a 60% uh, um, black or I'm sorry, 60 40% white, 60% black. Uh, it works out and it makes a really nice um, matte finish. If you go heavier than that, it does make things look very like sandpapery. All right, and so we'll fill the black areas with that and you see it changes the color uh, because we're only painting the green channel. All right, and now for the white, select by color white and because he wants that to be completely chrome like hardcore chrome uh, we will make it pure black all right so we have all our layers here. The only thing that I'm kind of concerned about is the the grill. It might not come out looking, it'll come out looking a little bit different. It'll come out looking classically painted rather than an actual metallic. I'd have to actually, I'd have to have the actual file, um, the PSD to be able to do that. Although I might be able to pull it off of something else. This is a quick down and dirty on how to take a TGA file with blocked colors and make it a uh, into a, a spec map. All right. So now to make it usable, all you have to do is export as a spec map. And what I do, um, I always leave the car when I want to title it. I leave the car underscore car and then I put the actual file name as it will sh appear in your um, in your livery folder uh, to make it easier so you can just copy it over there delete the first part of it and then you're good to go spec and then driver number so most driver numbers are six digits nowadays um, and then make sure it's TGA export I don't do any compression export it alright and that's it too easy uh, I will and then you drop that file into your livery folder cut off the the car name make sure it says car underscore spec underscore your driver ID uh, load that car into a test session and it will create the spec or it will create the dot MIP file for you which then you can add into trading paints uh, and you can add that into your team cars, whatever. Uh, and it will work for any color combo as long as you don't want to change the the format. So, for example, uh, if we, like this blue could be any color. And that spec map will still work as long as you want the white to be chrome and the black to be matte. It doesn't matter what the coloring is you can have you can overlay it over any um any livery out there 